and Canada Post should be coming down to this community to walk the streets and see what this service means to us and to meet with the men and women at the Walker Road and explain to this community how reducing services is going to improve their capacity. It's a sham. It's a sham. Dozens of Windsor residents gathered Saturday, January 26th, on the corner of Sandwich and Mill Streets to protest the proposed closure of the local historic Canada Post Office. Hosted by Windsor West MP Brian Massey and the Cup W Union, which represents Canada Post workers, Residents listen to speeches from union leaders, Canada Post employees, and local politicians. Councillor Ron Jones, who represents Ward 2, in which the building is located, questioned the government's logic in closing the post office, given the recent plans to move many government jobs to the Sandwich area. If HMCS Hunter, with 140 jobs every day coming to the city of Windsor, are coming to Sandwich Town, and the Port Authority are coming to uh, Sandwich Town, I ask the question, does anybody in that federal government talk to one another? Longtime Sandwich resident and advocate Terrence Kennedy says he feels shuttering the post office will be counterproductive to growth in the area. The government keeps telling us that they are making a foundation uh, for business to thrive, not only in the West End, but you know throughout, throughout the area. Uh, and it's uh, very sad that uh, we have to keep going through this because if they're making a foundation for us. Don't pull the rug out from under us by taking our post office. Those attending the rally were invited to sign a petition to try and keep the post office open. Residents who are unable to attend the rally are invited to go to the Canada Post website to express their concern. Should the sandwich location close, the next closest post office is located on the corner of Campbell and Wynut Street. Reporting for Mediaplex News Now, I'm Chris Richards.